Well, hello guys, Maze Lego 123 here. This time we are doing another Lego Bionicle Classic set review. This time, as you can see, we are reviewing Axon, who is one of the 2006 Titans. And he is my favourite of the 2006 Titans. And I do also have Vazon and Fenrak to review soon as well. And I did order this guy and Vazon and Fenrak off of Bricklink. And I will be reviewing Vazen and Fairrap as soon as I get him. But anyway, on with Axon. I don't have the box or instructions for this guy, so let's just get straight on to him. As you can see, he is a rather big titan, but not big in, as in height terms, because if you look at him compared with a Toa Inika, as you can see, he is roughly the same size as Toa Inika Chala. So he is a rather small titan in that way. But in terms of how bulky he is and stuff, you can definitely see he is a really big titan. And even as far down as to the feet, you can see how big he is. So if we just move this forward here, you can see he's got one of the Toa Hordika feet on the front. You could uh, just see exactly how big his foot is. And then it goes on to a little Varky uh, lower limb. And he has of course got the pistons on the back to make him look more biomechanical and that does uh, help when you move the limbs about so you can get some really nice ways of moving this guy about you can see there use one of those pieces to get this whole leg to be as long as it needs to be and they have used these Visorak foot pieces or were pieces that were used on Rudaka uh, for her hair but I, I kind of um, this is um, it's just being Visorak feet because that's pretty much what they were, were used on. And as you can see, one in red, one in silver. And his legs, unlike most, uh, quite a few Titans, they just attach on one ball joint. There isn't really anything uh, complicated about the way they attach. They just attach onto one of these lower pieces. And that is on a Paraka torso. But if, and if we take off this armor piece here, you can see there's quite a bit of... Uh, stuff going on here it's definitely more than just a paraka torso you can see we've got this piece as well on the back that's just kind of there to uh, help get the um, the big shoulder things the way they're meant to be and then if we just attach this back on there like so and you can see really really nice design on the body and both legs are basically the same except for kind of the top and the way they are designed and as you can see, he's got the really nice, this really nice mask here, which is a pretty big mask. And it does attach onto the Toa Metru head there, so you've seen that before. And then here is, of course, his mask. Uh, really, really nice mask, and it definitely fits well with him. And as you can see, the arms, again, for armor, they use the Toa Hodika feet um, on the upper arm. And then we've got a Valky limb again as the lower arm. And then we've got this uh, really nice built up hand. You can get it in some pretty cool poses. So we can kind of have a thumbs up there. I guess you could say that's a thumbs up. But yeah. And he has got the biggest hands of any Bionicle figure, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure this was the first guy to actually have hands that had uh, fingers that could move and stuff. Obviously, the second one was Toa Mata Nui. And on this arm, it, he can't really hold it up very well in certain poses because it has got this massive axe on it, which is kind of how he gets his name of Axe On, because he's got this giant dual-bladed kind of uh, uh, war axe, and it's a really nice little build. And then at the bottom, it's got another, uh, another Rakshi piece, a uh, Rakshi weapon. And again at the top of um, with the axe there but obviously now there is an easy way to fix the uh, problem of him not being able to hold it up in certain poses and that is just get some friction added joints from the new uh, sets and add them onto his arm and obviously he can grab stuff with his really really big hands and a bit of backstory on him as you know he uh, in Bionicle Heroes, if you have played Bionicle Heroes, which I have, I've got it right here, you will know that he is against the Toa Inika in that, but that is actually not true because in the in canon, 
He is actually teamed and allied with the Toa Inika in the uh, official story. So Bionicle Heroes obviously is in the canon because they make him a bad guy even though he actually isn't one. But yeah, that's basically it and he is part of the Order of Masanui. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Axon. My thoughts on him? He is definitely a really cool titan and if you do if you do get the chance to be able to get him, I would definitely recommend you uh, take the opportunity and yeah, that's basically it for this set. And then there is overall look at him from the back as well. But yeah, that is pretty much it for Axon. Pretty cool Titan, definitely one of the best. And obviously my favorite year of Bionicle is 2006 because I definitely think it has got some of the really, really the best sets followed by 2007 and then 2004 in my opinion. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. Tell me what your thoughts on this guy are in the comments below. And yeah, that's about it for this review, so please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!